Here's my buddy Julien. He's going to solve this puzzle in record time. The whole point of this is to slide this whole thing out of this piece. And it doesn't move, it's all jammed. So we're gonna watch him go, go. guys and welcome back whoa I almost knocked my camera over welcome to all the new subscribers hope you're enjoying the content and hope you stick around also hope you enjoyed that little clip at the beginning that was a friend of mine Julien completely took me by surprise he knows I have a love for puzzles he has some puzzles at home too and so we have this board game night every week where we play different board games and he brought over these puzzles and he completely blew my head off how quick he could solve this puzzle I was on it for probably like 10 minutes I was like I, I don't know I'd have to take some time and he's like oh let me show you pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Guys, we hit 600K today. Ram fam, 600,000 subscribers. Thank you so much to each and every one of you for subscribing. Also, also relevant, a little bit of first playing card news while I'm at it. My first playing cards are a deck of cards that I designed that we that we pre-sold and they're being delayed and you guys wanted an update. So they said that the sheets are currently printed. They are sent to the foiler. They're being foil stamped. They're gonna be cut and then packaged and then shipped. I will keep you guys in the loop every week as I get more news about the production. Right, today guys, a uh, bit of a surprise tutorial. I'm gonna teach you guys some really cool things you can do with a deck of cards. Two things actually. One is a false cut and what that is is basically you're cutting the deck making it look like it's being shuffled when not actually and it retains the entire deck order the way it was and this is what it looks like. And then I'm also gonna teach you a false shuffle, something that I use all the time, and this is just to retain the top stock. So the top few cards, have the spectator put their cards on top, give it a shuffle that looks completely fair, and then still fool them because their selections are on top. You can reveal them, and that's what this looks like. We'll get into that in a second. As I mentioned before, I'll be in Blackpool, UK on Thursday for the biggest magic convention in the world, 4,000 magicians attending. It's gonna be complete madness and I will take you guys along for the ride if you if you so wish to attend and can't be there in person. Also really quickly, uh, my one of my best friends, Xavier Spade, who also has a YouTube channel you guys should check out. I'll leave the link below. Spade is an absolute beast, one of the best sleight of hand artists I've ever come across in my entire life and he's taught me so much. And he recently released a product, uh, a project called Xavier's Ride which is his take on Raise Rise. For all you card magic and sleight of hand aficionados, if you wanna learn some knuckle busting moves, you get 20% off for the next week or so on that product with the code RAMFAM. Leave the link below where you guys can go ahead and check out that download if you're interested in learning it and supporting Xavier's channel. Go to sub to him, go drop a comment on his uh, on his video, show him some love. All right, enough blabbing, let's get into the tutorial. All right guys, so first things first, we're gonna do uh, the false cut, and this is a great false cut that I use in performance. If you don't want to look too flashy uh, by doing like the Sybil cut or anything too complicated, this is really good, flies under the radar and it actually looks like the cards are being mixed up. In real time, it looks like this. Again. Slower. You can also add a double undercut. Make it a little bit more fooling, but I prefer just to use that single undercut like this. And that is a completely false cut. So basically if that was their selection on top, you'd say we're gonna lose it somewhere in the packet. And the entire deck order is retained with that sort of shuffle. And here is how that works. I'll leave this one uh, face up for clarity on here. So first things first, you're gonna wanna hold it in your right hand. This is your dealer's hand. So whether you're left handed, right handed, your dealer's hand is empty. Uh, you're going to take a portion, maybe half or so and you're gonna swing cut it into this hand, okay? So all you're doing is raising it with the index and you're going to pivot it to the side with your index. This part of your thumb here is gonna 
grab that, you're gonna do that again. So you're gonna split off another packet there to make sure this thing stops focusing for a second. So again, you're gonna swing cut the next packet. And now you're gonna keep a break with your pinky between these two packets. And this is your last packet here. You're gonna actually switch these two packets. In the action of putting this here, your pinky is just gonna let that one slide as you open your hand just a little bit so that you can retract it as you give this one off to this hand here. Your hand is going to grab that one, put it back on top, and you're still holding, whoop, you're still holding your break. You're gonna grab all this and bring that back on top. So again, swing cut one, swing cut two, hold a break. Swing cut the last one and exchange it for this one. Put that one back on top, grab the top packet, and bring the bottom packet on top, okay? And that's it. Really simple, but really deceiving when done at a quicker succession. So once you guys get the hang of this, you know, you'll be able to, you'll be able to knock it out pretty quickly. Now again, if you wanna add that double undercut, once you're at this point, you can grab everything retaining that break. You grab half of the bottom packet, bring it up, and then the other half and bring it up, and you're still retaining that new deck order. And that kind of looks like this. I actually don't prefer it. I think it looks a little bit more clumpy and less smooth. I just kind of like this. That's good enough. Just looks like the deck is being shuffled. And that is the false cut. Let's go into the false shuffle. Now the false shuffle is something you learn an expert at the card table, which is a book that you learn a lot of magic slights in. And this is simply to retain the top stock. We got two aces and two jacks on the top of the deck. Those are their selections. You can have them put them back. You can even give it a false cut if you so desire. And then once, obviously they're still all there. So here's what the false shuffle uh, looks like in real time which looks super great. I'm not actually done, but at this point I usually pause uh, and then you go on and you can shuffle the rest off, which looks super clunky, but at the end of it all, you've still controlled all those four cards at the top. Very simple concept. Uh, this uses what we call as an in-jog. And what an in-jog is, is as soon as I bring this, this first card down, this overhand, my thumb is gonna push it inwards, creating an in-jog and then the rest I can do whatever I want, okay? What you're left with in the back is that one card protruding right here. Your thumb is going to push and raise that card, creating a break in the deck. Here again, one. Your thumb comes in, you hold that break here, okay? So you've got that break. Now all you're gonna have to do is retain that break with the thumb as you just shuffle off all these cards until there's no more break. This is Small Subtlety by Di Vernon. A lot of people do this, they come back here and they shuffle and then they go forward creating that break. You can just shuffle off one and then use your thumb to push it back as you shuffle off the rest and it's a little bit more fooling. At this point I usually pause and I say, all right, we shuffle up the cards, they're all mixed up. There's no, like this is genuinely shuffled. The only difference is I have a break where the top stock of the cards are, which is right here. But I just pause there for a second. It looks messy. It feels like they're shuffled, which is more important than it looks. It feels like they're shuffled. Your thumb pushes that one up and in. You square everything up, creating that massive break. You don't even need a small break. You can use a huge break. And as you're talking, you can casually do this. And you know what? It's gonna be a little bit clunkier, which makes it look even messier, which is perfect. Bam. I've gotten all four of these cards controlled to the top, and now you can reveal them in, in any way you want. You can be like, boom, there's card number one. Here you go, sir. Card number two is actually in my back pocket. Card number three is in this pocket over here. Card number four. Yeah, that's card number four. So <laughs> there you go. So that is a cool false shuffle that you guys can play with. Hope you enjoyed that. My buddy Antoine is here and uh, I, got a, I got a favor I need to ask him. So I purchased this uh, cigar box puzzle recently. This here. And the thing is, I thought it was a puzzle, right? I paid like 80 bucks for this thing. I was like, oh cool, a cigar box puzzle. This is gonna be dope. And I opened it up and it's got all the pieces inside and it's super complicated to work. And he he's really good with like working wood and stuff. And the thing is, it's a great excuse for me not to do it because if I build it, probably will know how to open it. My mission for Antoine is to take this box 
and deliver it to him. He's going to take it home and build it and uh, we'll then open the box. Thanks, man. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, again, like this video. It does help out the channel if you did. And subscribe if you're new here. Guys, we will see you. The next time I will see you will either be on, no, you know what? I might upload another vlog before I leave. Who knows? Who knows? I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.